What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Now for today's video, I'm going to be covering Elden Ring. Elden Ring has officially released today and I'm sure many of you are jumping in to play Elden Ring either because you saw how amazing the reviews were or you're just a fan of Souls type games. Uh, no matter what your reasoning is, the game is now live and a lot of people are playing it and from what I've played so far, I've really enjoyed it. The game definitely doesn't hold your hand very much, and like any Souls game, it can be a lot of trial and error, and a lot of dying, and a lot of just farming enemies to try to level yourself up. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys the location that I found to sort of farm runes to level yourself up and to purchase weapons and stuff. Now this method, you can actually do AFK. Really simple, it's up towards the top of the map. It's pretty easy to get to. I got to this location probably within I don't know, an hour and a half to two hours worth of playing. But since I'm showing you this video and you know where it's at on the map, you can just head straight up there. Now you are going to have to get around the castle. There's a big boss fight at the castle, which I just completely avoided. There's actually a side route where you can go underneath the castle and go around the backside. And then once you find your way around the castle, just follow the road that's kind of grayed out in the map. And if you can make your way to the location I am on the map, this is what I've found to be one of the easiest farms in the game so far. Now this is pretty early on. When I found this farm, I was level seven and I don't have any weapons or anything. So you can obviously do this at any level and you get about a thousand to 1,200 souls or runes as they're called in this game by basically doing nothing. Like you go to this area, you make sure you want to rest here. That way if you die, you can respawn. So after you rest, you want to to ride your horse and you want to basically run down to this group of enemies you're going to have a bunch of like soldiers and they're going to be fighting some ghosts so you want to run past them just don't engage in any of the fighting you want to run down the hill until you get this giant boss creature to spawn and then all you have to do is turn around and just let them fight each other as they die you get currency from all their deaths and you don't even have to fight. Now I've done this a bunch of different ways. I've either engaged in the fighting, just you know, if you're bored or if you want to speed it up, you can fight if you want to. But all you really have to do is sort of just get them to aggro on each other and then hide behind a rock. You can go AFK if you want to. I was watching a couple YouTube videos and stuff as I was doing this. So I was sort of just, you know, two birds, one stone. I was watching some YouTube videos and farming at the same time. And yeah, that's basically it. If you can manage to kill the big boss, that gives you even more runes. But the boss can definitely be a little bit of a pain, especially as you're a lower level. It's going to be a pain in the butt to farm that guy. But you honestly can just skip him, let all the small stuff kill each other off, and then once all that's left is the big boss dude, just go back up, rest, level up if you want to, uh, maybe go to a store and buy some better gear or weapons or, or something. And yeah, that's basically it. Just go up to this top area of the map, I mean, obviously this strategy isn't for everybody. Everybody plays a Souls game different. Um, some people are against farming. Some people are for farming. Sometimes, I mean, farming is kind of what you have to do because sometimes you're just stuck and you can't progress until you get better gear and better weapons and better stats. So this is what I found. This is what I was doing to get a couple level ups. The enemies also drop some weapons on occasion too. So I got a new sword uh, and I got some pants from some of the soldiers that died. So this is just a good way to get early XP and early new weapons and stuff when you're starting out on Elden Ring. So that's it for this quick video, guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. If you guys want to see me keep covering Elden Ring on the channel, I can do that. Uh, it'll give me something to play until LEGO Star Wars comes out, and I'm going to be covering that on the channel next month. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitch at Swanee Plays Games Live. I'm going to be streaming this a lot, and that's going to do it for me, everyone, and I will talk to you all in the next video.